Breaking news. Seattle has gotten to their 76-man roster. Maybe not a huge surprise is that Brandon Browner was cut. Everyone was so excited about the original Legion of Boom member being back. Didn't last so long. I don't think it was that surprising because Brandon didn't see a lot of time on the field. Maybe more surprising is that guard Christian Sokoli and center Patrick Lewis were cut. Justin Britt, congratulations. It sounds like you have earned the center spot and I'm very excited for you. Now, let's get to the Seattle versus Dallas preseason game. Let's just go ahead and start with the offense. Russell Wilson seemed a lot more comfortable this game. Um, last week, he was in the pocket and didn't seem quite like he had his pocket awareness like he usually does. However, this week, we saw him scrambling and making huge plays like he was always doing last season. I think that was really promising for Seattle fans to see, not that we doubted. Another thing on offense that I was excited to see was Jermaine Kearse getting more involved. Uh, the last two games, he wasn't really targeted that often, so I'm really excited to see him getting more balls. Being targeted more, I guess. The O-line, I think, is still holding up well. Left tackle, maybe not so strong this week, but I think promising still. But I think that's a position to watch and see how it progresses. Call me crazy. I think that not only is Luke Wilson the best blocking tight end in the league because he is playing for Seattle so he is going to be blocking people know that he does it so consistently and so well that I think he's undervalued in this league but not only that I think that he blocks so often that when he's asked to catch he does that so consistently that maybe maybe he's the best tight end in the league I don't know which is why I'm wearing and repping my Luke Wilson shirt because for seasons I've just been super impressed with him and I don't think you always notice him or see him as a flashy tight end because he is blocking but he's making huge plays for Seattle's offense. So how about the defense? Let's talk defense. Unfortunately during the Dallas Seattle game I had to watch the Dallas announcers. It was the Dallas channel. So all I heard was them talking about Cam Chancellor and how he kept getting rickrolled by Ezekiel Elliott. I don't know, I wouldn't go as far as they were going, but it's nice to see Cam back on the field. Something else on defense that I really, really loved watching was Jeremy Lane. There was a play where Dak threw a floater into the end zone for his receiver. Well, it felt like it was Richard Sherman's side of the field because the position that Jeremy Lane had on the receiver was textbook. His positioning was so perfect that it almost reflected a Sherman kind of play. So that was really promising to see. Earl Thomas. That guy is everywhere. The play where I was talking about Jeremy Lane, that receiver had no chance of catching that ball because Jeremy was in perfect position. But Earl Thomas is there to cover as well. I feel like Seattle is so able to, to do the plays that they do because our free safety can be so mold and allows our defense to do so much more than any other free safety in the league. That's all there is to it. Overall, the defense played a solid game. As long as our defensive line can continue to create pressure and continue to get to the quarterback, we have no problem because our corners and, f and safety, secondary, linebackers, everyone is so solid. Offense, also really promising. Russell's numbers were incredible. Boykin, again, is just playing lights out. And there we have it. Seattle's down to 76 players. We're one step closer to the regular season. We have one preseason game left and then the home opener against the Miami Dolphins. Tell me what you think. You think Seattle's looking good? What areas do they need to improve? What positions are you nervous about, excited about? Um, let's talk.